This video will go over the subject of dehydration as covered in the book, The Power of Your Metabolism by Frank Suarez. Dehydration just so happens to be one of the main factors that reduce the metabolism. As you may remember learning in school, the human body is composed mainly of water. In fact, it should be about 65% water. When using an electronic scale that can measure water percentages, it can be seen that an overweight person can have as little as 40% water in their bodies. A thinner person, however, will typically be at or around 65% water. The fact of the matter is, if you want to increase your metabolism, you must first increase the amount of water you drink. In case you're wondering why this is, let's take a look at a water molecule. As you know, water is composed of oxygen and hydrogen. The majority, as you can see, is made up of oxygen. So when we drink water, we are primarily adding oxygen to our bodies. Oxygen is an element that allows for the combustion of fat. It is also what drives the metabolism itself. As an important note, when it comes to hydrating your body, not all liquids are equal, even if they do contain water for the most part. When you drink plain water, the body will send it to your bloodstream and thus increase your hydration and oxygen availability at a cellular level. However, when you drink water that has some sort of flavor like coffee, tea, soda, juice, etc., your body will treat it like food and send it through your digestive tract, which will not remedy a state of dehydration as effectively as plain water will. The amount of water one should drink depends on one's weight. To determine this amount, use the following formula. Take your total weight in pounds and divide it by 16. This will give you the total number of 8 ounce glasses that you should be drinking per day. For example, if you weigh 175 pounds and divide that by 16, you will come up with the number 10.9. Round this up to 11 and that's the total number of 8 ounce glasses you should be drinking daily. To learn more about this, read the chapter, Dehydration, in the book, The Power of Your Metabolism by Frank Suarez.